Shaila, come back now. Come back here right now. No. Where are the kids' passports? Where's your passport? Look, Raj, I only picked up the phone to tell you not to look for us. Leave us alone. Baby, please. I'm telling you, when we win this lawsuit, we'll be millionaires. Millionaires, I promise you. Just come back. Stop dreaming and wake up. Look, I know the last lawyer was shit, okay? But this new one, he's got great arguments you, you wouldn't even believe. We're gonna win. We're gonna win, Shaila. I don't care. The kids don't care. We are broke. You even stole from the kids' education funds. But it's my invention! And I'm not letting anyone cheat me of it. Raj, the kids do not live off air. I'm done. No. No, 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 Shaila, this is against the law. I am their father too, okay? You can't just... Look at the pendulum, regulate super immaculate swing Fire on chariot, carrying my train be blazing on wheels I rob the riches and I so by the morning I'm free And they be ringing alarms when I'm too close to my kill I got my eyes, I got my eyes, so turn around Ring the alarm, so put your bodies on the floor I come and get it, cause I'm the baddest of them all Yeah, I'm the baddest Geraldine, you know this. John didn't die of a gunshot wound. Someone killed him. Someone on this train. Come on, John. Could have been bruising from the CPR. You know as well as I do that something is going on here. I saw your reaction when you heard about the encrypted messages in the meme. You clearly know nothing about it. <sighs> Look, we now know that Razak was one of yours. A terminally ill, planted hostage who sacrificed himself so you guys could show us you mean business. We know you bombed an empty cabin, making us think there were dead passengers when there were none. We know you don't want these people to die any more than we do. Well, aren't we saints? I killed a lawyer, remember? After he molested that girl, you stood up for her. That whole episode could have risked your mission. And yet, you decided to protect a young girl, a stranger. I'm great at multitasking. I think you're just like your brother. You care about people and what you want is justice not more blood on your hands what are you doing uh, just checking for the chatter out there yeah why well, are you guys keeping something else from me why didn't you tell me about the information they wanted? Take it up with Blue. It wasn't my call to keep it from you. But get this. Instead of keeping it for leverage, Blue's considering giving it up. Yeah. My sentiments exactly. 
If we keep that information, we don't even need the hostages. It's, it's a home run. I worry, you know. What else is Blue agreeing to behind our backs? They look not happy. You need to tell the negotiator about the USB drive that you showed the leader. But how? I don't know where. You saw the leader pass it to that guy, right? Should we want the rest? Wait, 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 wait. Check this first. Might be something they want. Just wait to be saved. We need to find out what the negotiator has planned. They will kill us. Please. I need to go back to my family, my children. We all do. At least we have families to go back to. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Come here. I'm gonna get you. Come here. What are you boys doing? Titus, get out of this room. You're not allowed in here. But why can't Ashton stay? Ashton is the heir to your father's fortune. He is allowed to be in here. Come. Let's go. Share! I share my toys with you! Stop it! Both of you! Administer five strokes on Titus's palm. But sir, both of them were fighting. That's not fair! Show me your palm or it'll become ten strokes. Now! learn from Yang not to cover things that belong to his brother. That way, there will be no succession issues in future. His mother got greedy. That's why she lost custody of him. You heard it yourself. They're planning something else. Who was Rajiv contacting without your knowledge? I get that this is overwhelming. So let's work this out together, okay? We have to, or a lot of innocent people could get hurt. Innocent? Is anyone truly innocent? Does anyone step up, speak up when there's unfairness? No. So he stay out of trouble, don't rock the boat, don't offend the higher ups. That's what we've been told. Had I stood up for my brother, maybe he wouldn't have lost his job. Maybe your grandmother would have gotten a liver. Maybe they'll both still be alive. And if John's bosses weren't afraid of Bhagawan's wealth and power, maybe his son wouldn't have died, but no. Everyone just wants to stay out of trouble. At least John was different. He was brave enough to do something. He's the reason why I'm still alive. And I'm not going to let him die in vain. We've only made sense of a couple of words, para and el. Looks like Spanish, 
So you've managed to crack the language. It wasn't hard to find the languages encrypted in. Rajiv Khanna had his honeymoon in Spain after all. But to find a cipher to decrypt the message is much harder. I hear you. I really do. But listen to me. You and John were manipulated. Think about it. If Rajiv is answering to someone else in the AFV, if he has a different goal than the rest of your team, then you've been kept in the dark about the true agenda here. And if John was your mentor, he was tasked to groom you. Out of everyone, he chose you. He opened your eyes. He became your mentor. He made you a leader. He made you feel special. Grooming always works that way. I believe that the death of John's son pushed him over the edge. And that made him an easy target for the AFV. Just like you. There's nothing like grief and revenge to make you both the perfect soldiers. We have to stop, please. And neither shit. <laughs> Do you know what a fifth column is? It's a subversive faction that undermines from within. You have a Judas in your ranks. I know you cared about him, so don't let his death be for nothing. Help me end this, and we can stop the people who used you and John from ever doing it again. I promise, once this is over, I will do everything in my power to get justice for your brother. Stop your bullshit. Not another word from your mouth. What the hell's going on? She's still feeding you shit? Not if she wants a bullet in her head. The drive isn't here, Blue. We've searched everywhere. They're just trying to mess with us. Who are you gonna believe, huh? Her or me? Come on, White's worked up too. Of course I believe you. Forget about a drive. We need to stay focused. It's time to make our demands. You know that's all I care about. Get White in. You look after the hostages. All this energy you're spending on trying to drive a wedge between me and my team. You better spend it on trying to get what I want. Because things can go to shit for all I care. I just want to bring Jeffrey down and clear my brother's name. What about the flash drive? Get me what I want first. Then I'll find a drive. I need to talk to command. I don't have much time to explain. I'm fine. I'm okay. 
Geraldine Hyak is going to ask for Jeffrey Quack to take him down. Just like John did with Bhagawan. Please, give in to her. I'll find the drive. What's going on? Red said you have some concerns. <laughs> How about you don't leave me out of shit? Just been busy planning things. Hmm? Is she getting to you? Not a chance. Mm. What was she doing? Setting up the negotiation for our next demand. Hmm. <laughs> After Black died, we should have sent them a strong message. Instead, she's here. It's because Black died that she's here. So if things go wrong, it's an eye for an eye. Nothing sends a stronger message than killing one of their own. <laughs> as long as it's me that gets the honours. Send Red in. He needs to monitor the negotiation. I don't like it. Sounds like she has a plan. I think she's got Geraldine Hyuk in her pocket. It's too risky what she's doing. We send her in. We've got to let her try before doing something reckless. Let's see how far we can go with this. If she can get the drive and they give up the hostages, it's the best outcome. We'll have to give in to Miss Hyuk's demands to take down Jeffrey Quick, just like John did with Bukawa. If we find evidence against them, we have to take them down. You really going to have any objections? None at all. That's pretty much it, Turing Cypher 1. Congratulations on this outstanding invention. It's a game changer. How long did it take you? Roughly the same number of years I've been married. That was my promise to her on our wedding day that one day I'll take one of my crazy ideas and turn it into enough cash for us to retire on. <laughs> well, she's a lucky woman. So it's a yes. You invest in Turing Cypher 1? Why don't you send us your prototype? Then I see if I can convince my board to buy in. <laughs> she can't speak to me or she won't. That is my invention! Okay, look, she said she was considering investing in it and then she kept me waiting for a year. And then what? She just launches her own? What do you mean they're different? You can't fool me, okay? I have read the specs. You might have changed a few things, but they're fundamentally the same. Speak to your legal department. Are you freaking kidding me? Raj! You. Showtime. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Oh, nothing. So, does she have everything under control? Look, all I care about is that the two of you don't screw up. Finish the job, get out, get my money. And I never want to see the two of you ever again. I am bloody clear about that. I'm not the one you should worry about. Miss Yak, we are listening. Firstly, I want a public live streaming of me and Jeffrey Quack. 
second. The contact of a girl, May Chiu, is being sent to you. Call her and tell her to get ready. She knows what to do. Jeffrey Quack should hear nothing about this. Who is she? A surprise. Take me in. Take me in. Let me join you. <laughs> you have a death wish, my boy. Huh? Just shoot me. Kill me. Please. He's just a kid. He doesn't know what he's saying. Titus, sit down. Well, we are short on staff. If you want to join us, you have to pass an interview. And thirdly, we want a public acknowledgement from Foresight Tech's CEO that Secreta 01 was designed and invented by Rajiv Khanna and that they will compensate him all monies owed to him from the sale of this product to their global clients. You have 45 minutes to set this up. We have no guarantee that she will comply. I have absolute faith in you. Pick one of these people here in front of you. Hmm? Who out of these losers would you most like to kill? Kill one of them, and I'll take you in. Mm. Oh. <gasps> oh. Titus, no. Don't listen to her. You're better than that. Be quiet. Oh, maybe we should just start with her. Lastly, in exactly four hours, I want a bus fitted with opaque curtains to ferry us to Emerald Air Field. There, a private jet should be waiting for us to bring us to a country of our choice. We'll take two hostages with us, and the rest will remain on the train, and you can retrieve them once we board the plane. Four hours is very tight. Four hours. This is final. No, please. I have children. I have a son your age. I cannot die. Please, please. You have a wife and a son. Yet you look for a prostitute. Ah! That's right. Oh, what a horrible father he is. Only care about yourself and your empire. Titus, don't, okay? 
Yeah. Look, you have your whole life ahead of you, even if you don't know it yet. Mm. If he truly, truly cared about his family, he would have been working in the morning and not out looking for some whore like her. I'll never do it again. I promise. I'll never do it again. <laughs> There are a lot of people who care about you, okay? You've got your friends, me, your mother. Jacob tells me that your mom is overseas. She must be worried sick about you right now. Kill it gets easier. Tyrus, you okay? Come, get up. You okay? We are happy to start working on those demands, Miss Hyak. But we need you to hand over the flash drive first. Fulfill our first set of demands. Then, if the drive exists, I will find it. Very well. We agree to your demands. But you must appreciate that what you're asking for is challenging for us. I have every faith in you. Soon you have your moment with John. Red? Hmm? Yeah. I'll go check on White. She's been in there for too long. So after you speak to Jeffrey quick, then you'll help me find a drive? I will. What you said about getting justice for my brother? Didn't you mean it? Of course. Good. Because I'm going to need your help. You need my help? What do you want me to do? I want you to testify against Jeffrey and his father. Go on record about what they did to your grandmother. I'm not sure. My brother died by the roadside. Or well, Jeffrey and his father went on to expand Valley Medical. Don't you see? People like Bhagawan, like John, like Jeffrey, they're insulated from consequences. They use their power and wealth to get away with things while other people pay for their sins. My brother paid with his life. You know when Jeffrey first asked me out? I couldn't believe it. He 
he was the chief son. Handsome, charming, brilliant. Why would he like someone like me? But he did. And I was thrilled. So when Gerald graduated from medical school, I told him, Valley Medical is the place to be. That he'll find happiness there. Just like I did. But soon, he started acting up. He came to me with wild conspiracies that the administration was corrupt, that the wealthy patients were gaming the system, and the hospital was happy to assist. And you know what I told him? I told him that it was all in his head. I mean, Jeffrey was pouring so much into his research, promoting him, showing him off to the media. I even scolded him for being ungrateful to Jeffrey, the hospital, even to me. But no matter what I said, it didn't deter him. And I actually felt that I was letting Jeffrey down. So when Jeffrey suggested that he take a leave of absence, I agreed. My brother was unstable. He needed help. And then, the molest allegations came in, and I... You believed them? No. I wasn't... I wasn't sure. And he could tell. He knew that his sister doubted the very person that he was. And then he spiraled. He moved out, but the few times I saw him, he was always drunk. Three months later, he passed away. I know you lost your grandma. But at least at least she died knowing she was loved. I never got the chance to tell Gerald that I believe him. Let's get justice for your brother. For the comfort he brought to my grandma. He was a good man. Miss Yuck, Jeffrey Quack has agreed to the live stream. He's arriving any time. We'll be on in 40 minutes. And the media? They've been informed. Are we ready? 
good to go. Wait for my cue. Everything's in place, sir. to resort to this. Okay, if you need help, let me help you. Whatever you need, lawyers, doctors, I can help you. I always worried about you in the past. You remember? I know that you're emotionally fragile. I was, wasn't I? I remember I was always trying to make you happy, jumping at your words. Jerry, I've always loved you. And I still care about you. It may be too late for us, but it's not too late for you. You need to stop this right now. I can get you the best lawyers. We can cite mental incapacity. He's trying to turn public sentiment. Smoother than my ex. What, I can't have an ex? What happened? Didn't you continue with the therapy? And your medication? Is that why this is all happening? He's trying to change her narrative from wounded warrior to crazed woman. A true blue misogynist. Medication? You mean those you prescribed for me after you destroyed my brother with your false accusations? Jerry, your brother died in an accident. Look, I understand your grief. I understand that you need to lash out at someone, but this is not the way. Look, your brother brought it upon himself when he mal when he did what he did. I'm glad you brought that up. Can we put Miss Teo on, please? Um, hey, what? I, I wasn't told. Miss Teo, can you please identify yourself and tell us why you're here? My name is Mei Teo Cheng Hui. Nine years ago, my mother was diagnosed with late stage cancer. And we're seeking treatment at Jeffrey Quick's facilities. Hey, um, what the hell is this, all right? I came out of goodwill. Take a seat, Mr. Quack. The stories aren't true. You got nothing to worry about. Please continue, Ms. Teo. Jeffrey Quack said that he would personally cover the cost of all my mother's treatment as long as I agree to accuse Dr. Jared Hyuk of molesting me on several occasions. That is a lie. I was only 14 then and I couldn't lose my mum. I have felt guilty ever since because Dr. Jared has been nothing but kind to us. After my mother's passing, Dr. Jared's sister came up to me. And that's when I decided to come forward with the truth. Come on, you guys gotta be fooling me, huh? You guys are gonna believe this poor little girl's fantasy? I still have the bank details of the money transfer. I am sending it to Dr. Jared's sister. Professor Lau, I'm sending you evidence of transfer of money in two tranches from an overseas account. It should be easy for you to trace them back to Mr. Jeffrey Quack. As for Ms. Teo, you can interview her later for more details. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you for coming forward today. Jerry. Why are you doing this? Why are you resorting to all of these lies just to take me down? Why? Because I, I found out about your brother's mistakes? On the contrary, my brother was trying to take you and your father down for the many cover-ups you were involved in. Like that liver you stole for your wealthy VIP client. That case has been settled a long time ago, okay? And the patient signed the waiver forms absolving us of any of the blame. I have evidence that that waiver was signed under duress and without the guardian present. That case is long done, and the statute of limitations... The statute of limitations is over for a civil case, but not for a criminal one. <laughs> what criminal case? The patient's already dead. Uh, who in their right mind is gonna... Miss Chow Winston, next of kin of the patient in question. She was underage at that time, but is now able to lodge a police report on this matter.
My name is Chia Wen-si. I have agreed to testify to the fact that my grandmother was robbed of a liver that could have saved her life. And how she was made to sign a waiver on her deathbed, of which I have no knowledge of. Thank you for the heads up point, sir. You go to hell. I will destroy you and everybody who's a part of this. Who do you think you are? You think you can touch me? Huh? Who the hell do all of you think you are? I'm everyone you ever screwed over, Jeffrey. This is for them. This is for my brother. The news is starting to come up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sir, please follow this gentleman. You are required to assist us in our investigations. I will not. The media are outside. You can either go quietly with these gentlemen, or they can take you out in cuffs. It's your choice. This is quite the case study in human nature. What's the situation with Chion? Her case against Rajiv Khanna is watertight and was a clear win both in the High Court and Court of Appeal. There's no reason for her to concede anything. We'll just have to handle it. We have to call them soon. Well, we try. They'll have to accept it. Well, we have to convince them. It's going to go one of two ways, and if it goes bad, we have to start sending people in there, and then it's a complete... What is it? Oh my guys, just inform me of a worrying trend. For a few days now, pharmacies have reported a shortage of potassium chloride and nitric acid. There's been an uptick of sales in these items. All precursor chemicals for IEDs. And you're thinking it's too much of a coincidence it's happening right now. I think the train hijacking is just the beginning.
reaching out for a steady hand to pull me out of the sick and sand. Maybe I could run away. 